Hi everyone, my name is Kunjal Deliwala. I am a customer engineer here at Qmetri. Now today in this video, I will walk you through the product download and installation process of our automation product called Qmetri Automation Studio. Now as a first step, you need to navigate to our website which is qmetri.com. Once you are inside our website, you navigate to products. You navigate under test automation, you click on Qmetri Automation Studio. Once the page is loaded, you click on try for free button. And then you need to fill out your personal details. So you enter your first name, you enter your last name, your email address. your phone number, your company name, select your job role, select the country you are residing in, and click on start your free trial button. Now, once you enter all your details and you cl click on your start your free trial button, meaning once you have registered yourself on our website, you will be redirected uh, to this page where you can download our product either for your Mac machine or for your Windows machine. Now, depending on your operating system, select the appropriate option. In this video, I will be covering steps for the Windows machine. So I will click on download for Windows. Once I click on download for Windows, you will see that our service manager file, exe, which is nothing but the exe file will get downloaded. So if you navigate inside your downloads, you will be able to see a QAS service manager here. Just right click on that down exe file click on run as administrator. Once you click on that, you will see the installation wizard. Now you will see that an installation wizard will pop up and you can begin your installation process now. Click on next button. Now this is where you select the directory where you want to install the automation studio. So once you select the path, click on next, click on next. And now you will see that the installer is ready to install the product on your machine. And you can see the live progress of your installation as well. We will wait for the entire uh, installation to get completed. Now, once it is completed, you will be given three different options. The first option is if you want to launch the QAS product on your default browser. If yes, please check this box. The second option is if you want to create a shortcut icon of our product on your desktop. If you want to do that, please check mark this checkbox. And the last is to launch the Qmetri Service Manager directly as soon as you complete the setup. So in this case, I will uh, check mark all the three boxes and I will click on the finish button here. So as soon as I click on finish, you will see that the URL uh, that I had 
requested to launch is now open in my browser and I can see qas.qmetry.com URL. Now, as soon as this pops up, I will be given an option to select my license activation, which means I need to select my subscription plan. Now here, since you are going to do the trial evaluation of the product, you click on free trial button here and you need to enter all your details, which is name, business email and your country. Please make sure to enter the details here that you provided while you were registering on your website. So the name, email, country, everything should be exactly same while you were registering on our website. So I will provide my name. I will provide my business email. Again, this is the same email that I had used while I was registering for the product on qmetry.com website. I will select my country. And this is the option. If you want a demo of our product features, you click on the check box. And if you don't want the demo, and if you directly just want to play the uh, around uh, the product on your own, you can like disregard this option. Click on save once you have entered all the details. Now here you will see that this means that you will see a success message that I have subscribed successfully and my evaluation end date would be this. Now QAS will automatically restart in 30 seconds as soon as uh, you get this success message. Click on OK and just wait for the service to get started. Now you will see automatically that the service is now getting started, which means it is validating the license and then it will start the service. Now this is going to take a little time as you are installing and starting it for the very first time on your machine. So just hang on tight while the service is getting started. Now, while this is in progress, if you navigate inside your tray icon, you will see Qmetry Service Manager icon here. And if you right click on it, you will be able to see the status of the uh, service that it is, it is getting started. You will also be able to start and stop the service from the same menu anytime you would like to start or stop. And you will be able to see all your subscription details under the subscription uh, tab under this menu. So this is basically the menu that you can utilize from your tray icon. Now one, now you can see that the, the, the validating license and the service starting pop-up got disappeared, which means that the service is now started. You can verify it again by navigating to your tray icon, right-clicking the Skeometry Service Manager, and you will be able to see the status as enabled, which means that the service is now up and running, and you can start using our product called Qmetry Automation Studio and further build your automation. Now here you can see this is the UI of our product. You first, as a first step, you need to authenticate yourself. Once you click on authenticate button, you will see that the connection is successful. Once the connection is successful, you can then create a new project or even import a new project. And once you have created the project, you can select the project from the list that you want to work on and then click on login button.
So as soon as you log in, you will be able to see the Qmetry Automation Studio product. So this is basically a landing page and you can now further start building your automation. Thank you so much for watching.